Hello, everybody, and welcome to the oh. Cover Level Podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we're doing a podcast. Yes. Uh, yeah. Wait, this podcast was uh, brought to you by Carl Spray. Carl, Carl Spray. Pellet. Get Carl him out of Pellet. here. We don't need him. Yeah, goodbye, Carl. Bye, Carl. You're gone. <laughs> you're canceled, Carl. Whoa. Josh. Whoa, wait, wait. Am I Carl? No, no you're not okay. Carl. But no, you this were is the on episode the story, you were on. The Carl story was there. <gasps> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. crazy. Carl, I, oh, y'all Carl. are good. Yeah, y'all yeah. are good. Yeah. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> I just was like, oh, that was your cousin. That. That's my cousin. Hey. Carl repellent, yeah. That's fire. And actually, and let me touch it real quick. Josh, hey. <gasps> we have a gift for you. Um, it's in honor of you being. Uh, the first, no, you're not the first returning guest. Uh, the, the, the sibling of a guest who's, <laughs> oh. wait, no, Sammy and Kelly. Um, you're the first male returning guest of a sibling he that started, we've had on the show. He started the, he started the singing for us. He started the he singing. Started, so yeah, this singing. is in wait, honor I, of the singing because okay. of that crazy freestyle that Maddie says wasn't recorded, but it definitely was. And ah. she just didn't want to put it in. The, it I was loved recorded. It. it was recorded. But and I don't know should've. if you remember, it was a little inappropriate. It was fire. I remember. Nasty. No, I hey, remember look, it was fire. I, hey, and, you know? and when we were hyping you up towards yes. the end, it kind of blew out the mic. So it didn't require <laughs> anything. So I Dang. didn't put it in for a good reason. Okay. But well, I wanted, we all wanted to honor you. Um, we thought of you when we bought this. Okay. We thought, like, Maddie was like <laughs> number one. She was like, that's Josh. And it reminded of us on our trip when we went on the cruise, like, this is what Josh needed, and this is perfect. So, see, you want to hand this? See, look, I have a vision in my him. mind of what I think it is, but I'm not gonna say that because I don't know what it is either. And I'm no, we all about. bought it, so don't. This is a gift from our podcast. So. Right, I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was some condoms. <laughs> y'all talking about this? What I needed? Okay, okay, okay. We hope I you like it. it. It's not condoms. Yeah, we hope you like it. That's a big box of condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a, a big so, old uh, <laughs> shaving kit. Oh my god. Oh my Don't god. A shaving me. kit. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, hey, look, look, man, look, man. Uh, what? Let me see. <laughs> Sharks. <laughs> Survival kit? Wait, wait. Was I in the restroom that much? You were constantly in the bathroom. We know that you needed something to like to survive. It was a harrowing journey for you on that cruise. And we just want to make sure you're covered. So that's for you. You can't run from that's the for, runs? Yeah. I don't remember having wow. stomach problems. Yeah. I was in there that much? Constantly. That's all I remember from the cruise. I don't remember the wow. stomach problems. I remember the butter. I remember the butter. I remember the counseling session. <laughs> At 3 the counseling, I do remember the counseling. And I remember the runs. You were constantly running because you had the runs. You oh, got me. Oh, no, no. Oh, Look, man. y'all not finna do me like this, bro. I don't have bowel problems. That was problems. him. I don't Dude. have bowel problems. They didn't even have hot him. food on the cruise, okay? They did. So my stomach was okay. I know, maybe, because I had a good song that I like listening to and I would put it on when I went to the restaurant. Yeah, so that even was if I did have part. problems, you feel me? I would just put it on. Y'all couldn't hear me. It was the know? same song every single day. It was, every really single song. it was on repeat. Like it, it was like, like you know how like it's like you have a few songs on, but it's like you come back to it. Like you play no. one song and you come back to it, and then you're like, oh, let me play that song again because I just yes. was it a toilet song? Was it specifically for the toilet? It was for everything. <laughs> oh, for everything. <laughs> but uh-huh. look, we did better this time because we went on a trip before then, and I had a song that I was playing over and over again on that trip. And we almost like squabbled on that one, bro. Like somebody had to mediate us not fighting. Yeah. Cause like it was that bad. He pressed me, he's like, bro, turn that song off, whatever. I'm like, you gonna tell me to turn my music <laughs> off, bro? We really finna get into it. Ooh. And we really almost fought, bro. Yeah, but we really did. You know what I mean? But this time, we handled things like men, like brothers. So I mean, so hey, solid. And I don't get it. Ask him. I wasn't around, I didn't know, I wasn't, I didn't know this about Josh. <laughs> No, this I mean, isn't anything can, you needed to know. It wasn't a thing. Yeah, we you can ruin the joke. That was my gag gift for Brandon last week. <laughs> it came after the episode. I didn't want it, so we can't. <laughs> I have reused it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, I, I made up a story about, about oh, him okay. pooping all over the cruise. It was a joke, Maddie. I don't know why you had to ruin <laughs> things. 
because I was confused. Oh and, my, and, this is my guess. And now this that, that you bring it up, oh. you did say before the podcast, I'm going to give him a gag I literally gift. told you what but it I was still, and you forgot completely. <laughs> I was like, sure, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't a pooper. Right, thank you, Maddie, thank <laughs> Man, you. that's horrible. He didn't you poop. You better cut all that out because we can't. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a great momentum. Yeah, it was just a say, good yeah, then Maddie was like, no, we have to stop. It. I mean, maybe they want the behind the scenes of what okay, happened. Okay, maybe you guys get the behind the scenes. Tell us if you wanted it, because leave it in, and tell us if she should have cut it out. No, like, I think yeah. no context would have been great. Yeah, I think no context was good. I know, just move you, on, Maddie. and we know. Maddie, don't let them do you like yeah. this, but I appreciate it. Because they people kind of screwed you over this, a little bit. Yeah, they would have been just like, like, no, I people kind of, every time Josh is on, they're like, did you ever clean up that dish? They're like, they were that's you would have had to make a public guy. appearance. <laughs> That's the pooper Clearing guy. my name. That guy poops. <laughs> no. Wipe your name clean. No, he cries. <laughs> that was that was good. I like that one. That was really good, actually. That was, I appreciated yeah, that one. That was great. And with that, knowing that it was a gag, because it's not real, yeah. <laughs> he said, I'll remember that. Uh, I got you. All right. <laughs> Well, let's clear the air with the aerosol poopery and move on. Okay. Back to back. All right. Okay. So. Wait, before we move on, every time I look at this dude now, like, more and more, I'm like, he looks like a good dude. I'm mad I picked this to be Carl. I think <laughs> you, see him again? he looks like a business guy. He looks weird. A he, little little he doesn't seem like what I think Carl would look like. I feel like this is like the cool history teacher. I feel like Carl would be attractive, and that's why it's a problem. No, I don't think Carl's attractive. You don't think Carl's attractive? Yeah, I think he, no, I I think think he was just attractive. straight, chaotic, evil, ugly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's ugly, but I think he's plain. Plain. I think he's plain, and you're like, you're like, why do you like Carl so much? He's nothing. He's not even ugly. Would be more interesting. He's just like nondescript, <laughs> but he has an attitude. Yeah. 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 I feel yeah. like Carl was on the bigger side. You know what I mean? He like, that thick. was that guy's oh. teddy bear. He little know? thick. Oh. Yeah. 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 He said, that's my nicotine. And big quantity. <laughs> that's right, right? my nicotine. Okay. Yeah. Well, today yes. we're going to talk about, I guess, some mean people. Mm. We've got some stories where people are being a little bit mean and okay. maybe she we can figure out go that. here. Exactly. Right. Yep. Right. Mean girls. <laughs> yeah. We are talking about a few mean girls and some mean guys. Sam can relate to the other one. What? What's mean what? guys. Because he's mean? Yeah. Mean. Yeah, because he's mean. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Pretty nice guy. That's what Prank. a lot of people say about me. Yeah. Say. Nice guy's not a good guy. I say, like, a lot of people are like, hey, you're a really nice guy. You're really cool. And we like, like you a lot. You're a bully. Oh. Two thumbs up. We should just move on with the rest of the podcast. Because <laughs> I feel attacked. I feel bullied. Josh, defend me. Don't just sit there. This is <laughs> crazy. Look, I was Josh gonna say no. maybe he's the bully. No, but no the you didn't say passed, anything. It was you should have defended too long me. Of a silence. I couldn't say it no. I'm not. Now you see I was how like, this made you feel after that. <laughs> I rest my case. No, I was watching him. He's like, I want to step in. But he didn't say anything. And I just felt like I was getting attacked more. And I was getting beat down. And Maddie was like high-fiving you. Like, yeah, he is mean. He needed help. I needed so help. He called for help. He needed help. But the way he addressed the help after that you didn't give him was mean. Are you trying to manipulate me? Yeah, he's trying yeah, to manipulate me. I think he's trying to manipulate me. You he's might be a villain. trying to manipulate me. You're a villain. <laughs> I You're gaslighting him. You are a manipulator. I am the right. imposter. I will admit it. <laughs> Is that how it sounds? What no. was the sound? We win. What was the sound of the... I don't remember. I don't think there was the, one. Wasn't, there, I thought it was like... Wah. There probably was, but I don't remember what I, it was. Like, you remember the text came out? I was like... Blah, 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 yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, oh, yeah. And then, yeah, they would just float off. Uh, I th- why did I think it was like a just- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there was one. I don't know. Probably when they fell into the lava no, on no, that No, it's when one they called the meeting. I thought it was like, why don't we play Among Us? We should play Among Us. Right, yeah, because we got to get our Among Us IQ back together. Yeah, Yeah. I forgot everything about the game. Did it ruin relationships in a period of time? Yeah, it did. Yeah. But it was fun. Doesn't that seem like a different time? Like, 
I remember we were like in played up. We were like doing yeah. played up, and then we played just up or among us stopped. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see that's all that's in your mind. I'm obsessed. I said played up. <laughs> I was like, when did played up come? I like, like, never did. Like, I'm obsessed with this game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but among us. Yeah. Was we're, that pandemic time or was that before? That was peak pandemic. I didn't go anywhere for two years. I didn't leave my house. So, Still, but you wouldn't have left your house if there was a pandemic. Like, if there wasn't a pandemic, no. you wouldn't have left your house. Honestly, the pandemic ruined me. I was out before the pandemic. The pandemic, like, returned me back to my old ways. And mm. I was, like, out all the time. But now I'm like, there's no need. I haven't been able to get out of this mode. Do you just like order your order your groceries and have them brought to you now? Yeah. Oh, I've been doing that since, yeah, like probably like 10 months in the pandemic I started doing it. And then after I'm like, this is better than grocery shopping. I don't like grocery shopping. I'd rather them deliver it. So I still do it. Is it like even that expensive? It's, it's sizable. It's not it's probably like $30 more oh. if you deliver it then. So it's kind of expensive, but it's worth it to me. How much do you fill up on gas? Oh, it's like maybe once a month. What? Yeah. Wow. I wish I could live that life. For real. Yeah. It's like once a week for me. Man. Well, you're a jet setter. You're like a cool cat taking names, going places. I go to school. <laughs> I go to work. <laughs> That's about it. Right. That's all you need. No. That's all you need. I want more for my life. Let's go to Chuck E. Oh, Cheese. When's the last time you've been to Chuck E. Cheese? Everybody, tell me right wait, now. Wait, wait. When's the last time you've been to Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, when's the last play. time you've been to Chuck E. Cheese? I don't know. It's been a while. Brandon, when's the last time you've been to Chuck E. Cheese? I was like four. That's too late. Come on. When's the last time <laughs> uh, you went like, to Chuck E. Cheese? Like four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah, I went for a little kid's birthday party. Hey, Stayed for the man. fun. Yeah, we need to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Don't play. The pizza goes for crazy. Real. Yeah, yeah the, pizza's, yeah, the pizza goes stupid. The go karts though, that's fun. Yeah, I no, think I got a coupon no, he, on my job. So he's he's being genuine. I know I'm being genuine. <laughs> Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. If you schedule a date, we'll go. I'll schedule it, and huh? then we'll vlog Is he it. Being serious? Really? You think so? Oh no. Yeah, let's go. I'm dead serious. Let's okay, go to Chuck e. he said it. Because you said no Japan 2.0. Yeah, but we going to Chuck E. Cheese for real. My guy Charles, bro. Because <laughs> I like all the selection of pizza, <laughs> like being able to get like the dessert pizza and stuff like that. Yes, we're yes. going to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm excited. Man. I feel like Amazing Pizza Machine might be better. It is 100. percent Because you know they have the bumper cars. It's a like it's more times. adult. Ish, yeah, so you know? Amazing Pizza Why Machine. Why can't we go to Amazing Pizza? It's Machine? It's right down the street right. by my guy Charles. Charles by Miller South. Yeah. E. Cheese? e. Cheese. Charles E. Cheese. Wait, that was fire. <laughs> Not to say E. Cheese at the same time. Wait, were we just locked in for we're a second? We're locked in. We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Edward Whoa. Cheese. Edward. Ooh. Charles Edward Cheese. Even though an amazing pizza machine, I low key really like that. The that, the car. The car. The and the, the one a, that goes around and you it look goes, up and it has a mirror. Looking I feel like it goes too you. fast. It has a dog mascot. I forget the dog's name. That's crazy. Yeah. See, yeah. look, we don't we don't rep the the Chucky <sighs> the amazing pizza machine mascot. I didn't even know they rep, had a mascot. We rep Chucky though. We can rep Chucky. Their food is bad. I can't rep the dog. It is? Yeah. I, I don't yeah, even no. remember the last yeah, time I've been there. It's bad. Which one? Amazing Pizza amazing Machine? Amazing Pizza Machine. Which one is the one is by... Yeah, that's Amazing Pizza Machine. I thought that was Chuck E. Cheese. No, Chuck E. Cheese is on 72nd. Yeah, it's on 72nd. It's a place where kids can be a kid. By the Asian market. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. They got rebranded. That's I've probably why. I've it, never been to Chuck E. Cheese. Can we go to Chuck E. Cheese? Wait, you said you were four years ago. I went to the amazing, amazing Pizza Machine. Because wow. I went we to... We high fives. Take it. Wait. Who? Uh, yeah, no. I went to the one by... And if that's the Amazing Pizza Machine, then I... Because I was like, why do you guys think the pizza's good? It's trash. I was talking about Amazing Pizza Machine. Yeah, it's not good. It's horrible over there. Mm. The so. pizza's really bad. But they have like a bunch of stuff. It, it reminds me of a like lot. cafeteria food. Like school cafeteria food. Where it's like mixed with like golden corral. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like fine, but some of it's bad, and you're like, it's just there but to make they, it look yeah. Like they more. have so much of it, you're like, oh, this has to be good because there's there's tacos and pizza and burgers. You're like, there's so much. I'm gonna find some good. No, you won't. You won't. You never do. You never do. You won't you find just anything keep looking. good. But Chuck E. Cheese is like, we got pizza. 
Hey, we're putting our all into this. And they do have a lot of arcade games, don't they? They have a lot. Do you remember? Sorry. I was I was just saying, uh, I forgot Fairy Fun Center closed. Yeah. Well, I'm, don't they still have the XL? No, that closed XL down. XL is gone? Yeah, XL is out of here. Oh. It is gone. I was like... I remember that was your place. It was so big. 72nd was my place. Yeah. XL was just there. Yeah, actually, yeah. 72nd was way better than 72nd, XL. 72nd. Nothing will ever... Well, they brought my favorite yeah. game, <laughs> the, uh, the Bertha game, where you had to throw balls into this woman. She gets, she's uh, like, oh, yeah. I love that. I'm like, eat this. Oh, I think Chuck E. Cheese has that still. Does it? Oh, yeah. I love that game. So I'm like, feed. I'm feeding her. I'm like, I like my girl's thick. And so, yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> so I get you yeah, thick now. Yeah, you don't get thick. <laughs> and she's like, oh. And her, her dresser go like, oh. <laughs> Y'all remember the game? theory, though? The theory. Behind Big a, Bertha? Nah, nah, Chuck E. Cheese. So it was like a viral theory where somebody, <laughs> I forgot who the YouTuber was. It was like a big YouTuber. But they basically claimed that Chuck E. Cheese recycled their pizza. Yeah, it was Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson, right. They claimed that Chuck E. Cheese recycled their pizza. So like if there was a pizza that didn't get finished, they would take the slices. They would put it into a new pizza. Put cheese over it, melt it, and make it seem like it was a part of the same. Wait, isn't lunch. that harder? Or I guess they're cobbling a bunch of uneaten pieces together. Right. No, because and it was a big thing. Everybody who went to Chuck E. Cheese would always have a couple slices that didn't fit in their pizza. So it was like a big thing. That's of fake. like that has to be fake. <laughs> it was a big thing of like they recycle their pizza. And whatever. And like Chuck E. Cheese came out with an official video showing how they cut their slices uh -huh. and how it like leans a little bit. No. So it explains why no, the pieces are didn't. uneven. I'd be so mad if I had to work at that company and had to make that video. I'm like, Man. this is crazy. And they're like, we do recycle our pizza, so we need to get out in front of this. Yeah, and I think it was tragic during that time too, because everybody would go into Chuck E. Cheese just to try and see <laughs> <laughs> and test out the theory. That's and a lot of crazy. people were right too. Like I remember the one like food reviewer that I watched, he went and his was <laughs> his pieces didn't match. So it was like, you can't really explain this. <laughs> Besides, you know, the theory being true. So hopefully. But do they have videos pizza. of them coming from the back with the pizza not fitting? <laughs> because I'm like, I feel people just like bring like a little Tostino's pizza and put a little tiny pizza. They're like, what is this? Right, yeah. <laughs> bring Pizza Hut pizza from outside and I think it. at a certain point probably during like the pandemic because they weren't getting that much money you could order a whole Chuck E. Cheese pizza and they would come in a box <laughs> no. and you could take it out like yeah is Chuck E. Cheese pizza really that good though? I mean it's better than anything Amazing Pizza Machine got for okay. sure but that but, bar is low yeah that's a low that's a really low bar I guess yeah, yeah. it's edible and that's what I like <laughs> A lot of things. Do you guys like Tostino pizzas? I love yeah. them. Oh, yeah. 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 You don't like them? I don't he like them. Like Why? Them. It's like the way the cheese just kind of sits on it. I don't, I don't like the way the cheese sits on it. It's, it's the crust for me. It's like the flakiness of it. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I, mean, I, mean, I just mm. bash those yeah, things. Yeah, I don't think I like, I don't like the way the cheese sits on it. I don't like the, the sauce that they use. Mm. What do you feel like about frozen pizzas in general? Some mess with DiGiorno. Yeah, DiGiorno, DiGiorno goes crazy. Yo, crazy. DiGiorno's really good. DiGiorno yeah. is the best. Our, our, the Red Baron was a really good Actually, frozen pizza. Now we all. But they started putting these like, this like about? weird like crumbs at the bottom of it now. And I'm like, well, like it's like, I don't like, like, you know, when like they make the dough, like sometimes you could see like little, like the like, yellow, little yellow dots at the bottom the of it. The little Caesars uh, sprinkle. Yeah, yeah. Let little Caesars be having it be all over the box. Yeah, but those are at a, like, these are like huge. Like, oh, it's like, oh. what did y'all do? Why did y'all mess up your recipe? Because nah, whatever. Got it corn is. chunks on the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So, what if we switch it up and we talk about arcades and games and parties and oh, yeah. stuff like oh, that? Yeah. All day. Yeah, that would make sense. That would All be day. That makes sense because we talked for 20 minutes about. Right? <laughs> Comparing Chuck E. Cheese. 23 to be exact. Amazing. Oh, we did. 23. I love it. So, let's start with sucks. this one. 20. Oh, shout out to okay. Brandon's series. Promo be for over. 23 <laughs> sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. been dropping knowledge. He's been dropping yeah. dying. Yeah. 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 It's probably full, fully released by this point, so you should go check it out on his Instagram, Brando. 
Or TikTok. What I, is it? I prefer TikTok. Ugh, Watch them on TikTok. It's not Brando Two Clutch, is Brandon, it? Uh, on TikTok, it's Brando Two Clutch. On Instagram, it's Brandon Next Door. Brandon Next Door. So go check it out. 23 Both sucks. Fun. And Out we're, now. we've been like doing these videos so early. He's actually 25. <laughs> I thought you said you were 27. Uh, I'm 300. You're 300? I'm 300. So, story? Yeah. yeah. Story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, let's keep talking yeah, about no. random things. I love this. I'd rather do this the whole time. <laughs> But okay. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say it, but, but anyway. Yeah. So I, that's, I was like, oh my God, Sam's being crazy right now. Am I the asshole for buying... <laughs> am I the asshole for buying a claw machine? No, you're, you're perfect. You're my dream person. Regardless of gender, whoever it is, I'm in love with this person. Maybe. <laughs> we oh. don't know. See, this is how these stories go. We think we know, but we don't know for I real. Know. So I know. maybe I'm gonna say no. Oh, I'm dying on this. I don't. One. I don't have any hill to stand on. I'm just saying no. This is the hill I'm dying on. <laughs> no matter what they say, they can't turn me. <laughs> no, no, no. Because if it's bad, you gotta play that back. It, that sound bite. <laughs> no matter what happens. No matter what, I'm on their side. Am I the asshole for buying? Am I the asshole for buying a claw machine? You I'm just touching it. I'm just touching it. Did you scratch your foot? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was oh, just no. like, get out of here. <laughs> Am I the asshole for buying a claw machine? I'm 20. I still live at home as my university is close to it. My partner got annoyed with me for having too many stuffed animals in my room. And honestly, my mom said the same thing. So I guess they were probably onto something. I own too many stuffed animals, so I bought a claw machine as a cool way to store them. It's also cool to just practice and play. I go to Japan every year, usually to visit my grandparents, and in Japan, arcades are really popular. I played a lot growing up, and honestly, that's why I have so many stuffed animals. I asked my mom if I could get one, and she said, yes, if I'm paying for it, it's in my basement. My boyfriend, who I plan on moving out with eventually, is really upset with me. He hates the claw machine and thinks it's ugly and doesn't want to deal with it in the future when we live together. He told me that when we move out, he wants me to sell it and most of my toys. But I can't stand the idea of doing that either. A lot of my toys have good memories from Japan, and a lot were won by or given to me from relatives that have passed away. Am I the asshole for not considering my partner's feelings before purchasing it? I wanted him to be wrong so bad. I wanted Sam to be wrong yeah. so bad, but no. Yeah, you're not. She sound like me for real. I, I had stuffed animals till I was about 16. They just be in my bed with me, right? <laughs> I pretend they... <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little personal. You almost something. They were my friends, okay? Hey, you know, man, we all benefits? <laughs> nah, hey, look, 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 look. No, no, no. Hey, bro, it ain't on... No, um, What's the Netflix show? Oh, uh, Big Mouth. It ain't on no yeah. Big Mouth. Chill, <laughs> chill. I was not doing my stuffed animals like that. Now, look. Just you know what I mean? I would imagine that they would protect me from everything I was scared of. And that they could, <laughs> they could talk to me like Toy Story. That's it. That's all. We talked about this with Adia. Yeah. About Toy... Would you actually, like, if would you freak out or would you be happy if your toys actually... Bro, I would be so happy. My 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 stuffed monkey that that a uh, family friend gave to me from the zoo that we had, bro. Like if bananas was real. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Nah, oh, but look, no, like he, on a roll he got too. like these like long arms, whatever. Like they're supposed to be like Velcro, so you can wear them like a backpack or whatever. But I know oh. he'd have like the smoothest dab up. Like he'd be like, what's Good, bro. Like, just be, his arm just be going like that. Like, that'd be so cool. That'd that was so cool. that was a really smooth tap up, by the yeah. way. I was like, I didn't know if your hand was going to connect in the demonstration, but it mm, did. Yeah. I like that. I that like that. would be like, you yeah. dash someone up and their arm just like, go to whoop. Fast. It like, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
And another one would probably just be like, wash me, because I never, I never washed my stuffed animals. Like, Were you supposed to? I never did. Uh, yeah, I never did either. Okay, so cool. So all of my stuffed animals would oh, be yeah. like crying out yeah. in pain. Like, nope, I stink. Me. <laughs> like, wash me, please. <laughs> what were you doing with these stuffed animals? Bro, I told you, it's not on no, the... No, I wasn't even asking that. Like, like, why are like, they what getting... Were you doing? Like, that what? they need to be clean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They just in your bed, bro. Like, I don't know. They just... They just by my pillow, like... Dust. I drew, so maybe Yo, I got some okay, drool. Okay, okay. That could You be. just had yeah. to clear that up. Because, like, I used to hold my... I never... I only saw one stuffed animal. But, like, I used to hold him in a choco. His name was Bobo. I used to just, like, mm, you know what I mean? Not Bobo. <laughs> Why do you do Bobo like that? So what do you think Bobo would say if he came back? Would he have beef with you? Because nah, he always cool. put him... Okay. <laughs> Man, it was just like he got a pain kink. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> you said y'all be cool. Like, Bobo, that's right, crazy. I used to love every time you put Tighter. me in a toehold. Choke Matter of fact, put me in one right now. I need Choke that. Me, I ain't had dog. that in years. <laughs> said, hey, wrap me up. Embrace me like that again, bro. He said, like, hey, Brandon, that. come to bed. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly like Big Mouth. That's some Big Mouth. <laughs> He's like, really, Jay? Come out here. Come on. <laughs> Come to bed, Jay. <laughs> hey, bro. Look, you still got Bobo? Yeah. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo's like right over there. He's like, <laughs> right. One time for the one time. When you go to this sleep, podcast find Bobo. Is done. <laughs> and one time for the one time. You know what I mean? Wrap him back up. <laughs> No, I'm not stuff. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got any stuffed no, animals that? I ain't getting it. Nah, you know. No. Sam? I didn't no. have any stuffed animals. No, I had a Dumbo, but it was probably until I was like 14, 15 that I just said, bye, Dumbo. Dang. Why did I think you were going to say 45, even though I know you're not that old? Wow. I would never do that. Do you still have Dumbo? No. I wish. I actually miss him. Man. I don't think I have come is a back on his Liam Neeson and be like, huh? I gotta I mean, I find this man. You threw me away. You thought it was it. done. Oh. And he really come he would back. Trade and that, trade it back. Sam trade sleep. <laughs> and his sleep? Dumbo would probably do that. I was saying, what if Dumbo come back on his Liam Neeson? Like, I gotta find Sam. He thought he was done yeah, with that me. I would be like, <laughs> I thought me and Gina were in game. Me and Dumbo. Man. Me and Dumbo. Look, you, you dead sleep, bro. The Roomba knows because it's smart. It knows he came in, but he's like, ah, I ain't going to tell him. I ain't going to tell him. <laughs> Damn, Dumbo just standing on your chest, looking down on you. Why has Dumbo got that energy? <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got rid of him, bro. We don't know where Dumbo is. He could be in a landfill. Then I'm scared now. I'm terrified. With a, a little three-year-old that then ripped his ear off. Oh, he's no. traumatized. Oh, no. And he said, if I was still with Sam, I'd be straight. So that's how Dumbo got there. He's standing up on your chest. Then no, I don't probably want this. stomping a little bit. Yeah. You, you in deep sleep, so it didn't wake you up. <laughs> I, I'll wake up. It Dumbo stop it. He got forces on. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. wake up. What are you? What are you doing when you see Dumbo? I'm freaking out. <laughs> if Dumbo come in my house, breaks into my house with forces on, just like stuffing on my chest. I'm like, whoa, Man. this is how I die. Are you doing the Muppet flail? Like, ah! <laughs> I just imagine Dumbo comes with that energy, but you're like a sleeping. You just think it's like a pitter patter of like a dog or something. You're like, in my house, I have no animals. It's so I'm, gentle. I'm, I'm, I get scared by the littlest things. Like y'all, y'all hear me running about these bats coming in my house. I'm like, I'm terrified of anything that's in my house. So if a freaking Dumbo came back to, and it was in my house, a, a random sentient yes, being, just... I do not like that at all. That's why I'm like, Toy Story freaks me out if it was real life. I would be legitimately scared. Y'all are like, oh, it's my friend. I'm like, no, you shouldn't be moving. Sid was on yeah. to something. Sid, I was totally on Sid's side through that entire movie. Yeah. Burn them all. <laughs> Not burn them all. Mm -mm. Those are my friends. Did we respond to what the story yeah, was? We, just or said, did we, just we all just said along? no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would well, you guys an have update. a claw machine? Does anybody want to have a claw machine? I don't want a claw machine, but I want one. Of, I I really want one of those arcade games. 
I feel like that'd be so like yeah. like those racing ones are like uh, yeah. I, I want one cruising of those around so the world. Right, the one yeah. with the yeah. motorcycle. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, or the or the um the, the ski. ski. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, I love the, the jet, jet ski, ski one, and the yeah. um the the uh the snowmobile one. Yeah. Because mm. that one is like blows wind in your face. But like come to think of it, like that was kind of unsanitary because it's like we don't know who's touching those vents. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I would clean it out. And I wouldn't. It'd be cool. You're like. I like that. I like that. I don't know. You know what I hated? They had it on the cruise to uh, the roller coaster. I think that thing's trash. I, I hate that one. Yeah. yeah. The or, one where you sit and then like it's, it's like you're going through a screen. mine or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. I'm like, this is trash. I never went on that. I didn't even know there was an arcade on the cruise. Yeah. Yeah. It was like. Because that's where Josh was like. Wasting his money, we're like Josh. You need to go. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was. They had a claw machine the cas- with, the with hundred dollars bill stacks or yeah. whatever, and I was just you know going for broke. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were in the casino doing that. <laughs> he did do that in the casino too. <laughs> Dang. No, the, the the money was in the casino. I think okay. it was like a Xbox or like a PlayStation or something. Dang. Well, the other Josh did win a PlayStation. From that machine, really? Wow. Yeah, he won a he won a slam, a PS4 slam. What? But he spent like well, he spent like fifty dollars, so it was like worth it. Mm. But he was playing it for like two hours, and he ended up winning. Wow. Yeah. Hey. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, we were like, Josh, you need to leave. This is crazy. He's like, I'm gonna get it, <laughs> <laughs> and he did. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. <laughs> I mean, it, it was nothing. I mean, it was nothing special though. It's like a little. I mean, we'll see it next time. Yeah. It was like a little. Oh my god, That was the greatest me. thing ever, don't lie. Not even <laughs> don't pat me. Don't hurt me. Your foot back over here for me to scratch again. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, don't you, touch my feet I just anymore. didn't know if you, you had it over there. I was like, oh, she doesn't want me to. And then you moved it back over. <laughs> no, one thing took I took that wanted. as a sign. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, well, I, especially because my feet do this like all the time. Uh, so like one thing that I noticed like when I edit is I'm like, my feet are always moving. I'm always like touching my feet or something like uh, during the podcast or like I'm doing this or... So like I'll be like listening to stories. I'm just like. Little fidgety is the one. I'm always moved though, a little bit. By the stories they move you. Yeah, this call machine. I was like, oh, what a story. I cried. <laughs> you were crying. Yeah. She cut it out, but she was bawling. Bawling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's cut out though. But there's actually an update though. Oh. Yeah. So update. Hi, I've decided to dump him. He hasn't oh been notified God. yet. Oh. <laughs> Jump into conclusions, but uh, update number two, I brought I bought two Squishmallows and put a story up on Instagram of my friend and I hunting for them. He messaged me about the story and he said he hoped the he hoped those were for my friend. Uh, after consultation with my new friends and my non-stuffed friend, he has been notified of my decision. I am staying with my friend until Monday so he can so he can't find me at home. So they broke up. Wait, why are you confused? Well, there was another friend. Her her squish mellows were her new friends, and then her non non stuffed friend is her actual friend. I was thinking that, but I was like, no, nah, that is maybe. <laughs> You're like, it can't be that. Yeah, it can't be that. It, yeah, that's the only problem. Now. I think her actual friend wants to be more than friends, and got her to break up with her <laughs> boyfriend. Hey. But how's he talking? <laughs> Well, not the squishmallow, the other friend that she <laughs> went with. How, how did you get that from a sentence of, I went I with my friend, you know? I hey. read between the lines. I'm I like, like it. Oh, you went with your so. friend. Butterflies in the sky. I, I can, can go, go twice, twice as high. It's Take a look. look. It's, it's in a book. book. It's reading rainbow. I can go. <laughs> Friends to know. Well, it plays it's to grow. Go, oh. no, grow. Reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Reading oh. rainbow. rainbow. I went high before. I- yeah. Okay. Reading rainbow. Am I the asshole <laughs> for being selfish when I'm sick and proceeding to ignore my family? Background. When I was 10, I was diagnosed with an illness doctors said would eventually take my life. Oh. I'm now in my early 20s, and I don't think I'm one with the world for too much longer. Oh. Four weeks ago was my birthday, and my mother asked me what I wanted to do to celebrate. Even though I can't participate now, I've always been 
I've always had fond memories of going bowling with my siblings and cousins, so I said I'd like to go to the local bowling alley. My mom was in charge of everything, invites, food, the lot. Throughout her planning, I told her I wanted to enjoy every, everyone having fun, getting to see my nieces try to bowl. I just wanted to enjoy everyone else having a good time. And when I got there, the mood was somber. No one is bowling and people are mostly just talking in hushed voices. I cannot try to bowl to get everyone started and I'm stuck watching. An hour or so in, my closest cousin says he wants to play the arcade games and I asked to go with him. I watch him play Pac-Man for a while before he says, I know you use your humor to cope, but this was a little sick even for you. I asked him what he meant and he realized I had no idea what he was talking about. Apparently, my mother made a big stink about this being my last birthday with everyone. It said on the invite, last birthday, last year of life. I was so furious and heartbroken. Oh. It's why it's why everyone was sad. I have my cousin bring me back out and take me to my mom. She's crying with her sister and mom still. I tell her I want to leave. And she says, the reservation is for four more hours. And we still have cake. <laughs> I repeat myself, and my aunt says, stop making everything about you for once. She's grieving. I say, it's all about me. I'm the one dying. (laughs) I'm yelling at this point, and my mom cries harder. My dad drops me off at the facility and doesn't comment on what happened. He just hugs me and goes. My phone is blowing up after, and people are mad at me until my cousin says I didn't know. I haven't talked to anyone but my cousin since then. My, my nurse says I'm being stubborn, but I wanted one more good thing before I'm too sick to enjoy any bit of it. Am I the asshole for being selfish when I'm sick and proceeding to ignore my family? <laughs> that mom is a true villain. Oh. <laughs> that mom is horrible. <laughs> Oh my god. That took a turn I was not That's expecting. Not either, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say I read birthday celebration. I thought maybe it was just going to be a bratty kid and yeah. it was dang. Yeah. I think the worst thing is like having a bowling session for four hours, longer than four hours. <laughs> That's <laughs> way too long time. to bowl. Right. Bowling is bowling at two hours you're like my hand hurts. Yeah. Why are we? Actually, I got mad at my mom when I went to visit my mom. She's like, let's go bowling. I was like, okay. And I was like, you either do like it by game, like do two games or three games. This chick did two hours. And I'm like, <laughs> two people bowling for two hours is a crazy amount of time. I'm That's like, criminal. And I was like, mom, why did you pick two hours? She's like, well, it's cheaper to do that. And I'm like, so I was like, we. it was like an hour and a half. I'm like, well, the game ended. So we're going, mom's like, no, we're getting our money. Or so we're just like, <laughs> I was heated. I'm like, you should not bowl this long. You should just grab the ramp at this point. <laughs> maybe if you have five people, maybe you have more than two people. I'm like, two people bowling for that long. I'm like, bowling is a bad date. Right. Like, you should never bowl with just one other person. Right. Unless you're like, it's been fun. married for 25 years and you don't right. want to talk to each other. Because bowling, fun. like, yeah, it's cool. I love bowling. It's known for I that think it's awkward group, walk back. Yeah. Like, you're walking back and you don't know what to do with yourself. Like, you like. But I think it's a group thing because back, you if you have it. two people, you, have, you, don't you have can't back talk back. because yeah, you're you always back walk back. going to bowl. Yeah, no. Like, right, you need yeah. a third person that you talk to Jump the other her, person yeah. and then so one bowling. Yeah, exactly. If you're just two people, you're just like, you pass by, like, good ball. Right. Yeah, you still got to be competitive. Yeah, you still got to be like, I'm like, no. This is not a two person thing. It's not a date thing. It's not a two person thing. It could be. It could be. You guys are very defensive. You guys go on bowling dates. I know. Y'all go on bowling dates. Yeah. So what? Yeah. So we did. How much do you talk? <laughs> yeah. How how's talk? We were talking talk. the whole time. We, we trash talk each other. We trash talk. We we make bets. I think we've only done like two to three games though. We do that thing. We don't go by hour or okay. like two hours. Okay. It's like, okay, two games at the most. And then I think the last time we went, we played three games because I was like, Brandon literally smashed me out of the park. Usually mm-hmm. like I'm good at bowling, but Brandon came in the expectation that I was going to be good, and I'm like, me too. Mm-hmm. Like you suck. Mm-hmm. And then he demolish me every single game it was so Mm. crazy because i'm like i have two games in me the first game amazing i'll almost bowl a turkey Mm. the second the second game the second game it's like eh, you could have did better you know you know i'm starting to get tired third game trash right i got a two game maximum i was like we we made a bet 
and it was like, okay, I did best out of two games. I was like, all right, cool. I got the best out of two games. I was like, I don't know what's happening. This is unnormal for me. And usually you would be like bowling like in the 200s. And I'm like. <laughs> Wait, you bowling the 200s? It's literally random. I just throw the ball and it's just there. But it's not consistent. She got that arm on it. I still feel like, dude, I feel like my best game is like 170. I, think, I don't think I've ever I don't think hit. he's being, I think he's being dramatic. I was in 200s, but it'll be like, it'll be like 100. <laughs> To like 130. I don't bowl enough uh, to know if that's, that's a good score or not. Average. I think yeah. the perfect bowl is like 300. Like, okay. So. 200 you is like, it's nice. Doing, yeah. You need to be a professional <laughs> bowler, I think. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not. Yeah, but then that third game came around. She's like, double or nothing. No, I literally, I was like, I need to win something. I was like, last person, they get they get everything. You said double or nothing? Yeah. And then you were like, and then I for lost. your heart. Yeah. It's a love and basketball <laughs> reference, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah. Saw, I, I saw it when I was younger. I can't quote it, so. Man. One of the best movies of all Can time. you quote it, Josh, the movie? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh-uh. Nah, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm sorry. Yeah. He said, mm. That's yeah. fine, because neither can I. Uh-uh. So. Man. But yeah. yeah, and then that last game, it was just like. It was the total opposite of what I'm used to. Like, I think I bet, I, I probably bowled like my best better, game that Yeah, better. he literally kept getting better. I was like, okay, he's done now. That's what he said. He said he's done. Yeah. So now so I'm gonna it's come my in time. And beat him and it'll be nice. I, think I, I with got my, worse over time. He got better uh, over time. I bowled I with my left hand mediocre. and got a strike. Dang. He was really good. Dang. So there's a comment here. Not the asshole. Your death is your your own personal journey. Yes, I understand it's hard for those who are grieving, but they will still be grieving after you go. You have the right to enjoy your last however long. Right. And her putting it on the invitations was going too far and ruined the mood. Still, one might expect people will mourn. Forgive them. There's no need to take that energy with you when you go. I feel like that's a very mature response. Cause... Yeah, because it's different if... If they made the invitation, like, it's my last birthday. Like, yeah, it is kind of like a jokey thing. The mom doing that and not even telling them that they put that on the invitation is weird. Yeah. Like, was there time for any update on this? Oh. Um, I, they didn't update and it was a year ago. Oh, no, they're gone. <laughs> <John>! <laughs> Not the deep sigh. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say that. It was time. Oh. <laughs> Is there time for it? <laughs> I think the sad part is, Josh, that joke hit me so late. <laughs> said, was there time for an update? I was like, yeah, was there time for an update? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> there was no update, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> So uh, let's move on to this next story. We're doing another story? Yeah, yeah, three stories. Oh, Wait, one more story. Oh, this is, is a, no, no, this is the second. second. I feel like this mm. is one more story. Okay, okay. okay. am I, I the this asshole? This is a true story kind of day. <laughs> well, well, Some people I, are hungry. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, let's get through this story okay, then. Okay. Am I the asshole for inviting my son's entire class <laughs> except for one child because of his autism? No, you're fine. <laughs> you gonna go stick with that one? Oh, <laughs> have you ever seen um Parenthood? No. The show. There's an autistic kid on the show, mm. and uh, if the kid is anything like that, I would not have invited him. He's the worst guy on the wow. show. Wow. And I would have like. Wow, Sam. Really? Yeah. You can't come. You that shallow? Yep. Wow. What happens on the show? I don't. I don't understand. Yeah, well, because don't. he's like, because he says he's on the spectrum. He like he has a hard time like seeing cues physical cues mm. and so he just comes off as a jerk all the time and i'm mm. like mm. there's only so much you can lean on in your autism and sometimes you're just like why would i want to hang around you mm. as a kid because kids are already bad and then you throw that on top of it mm. well i mean let's see if this situation is like that let's you know? see Am I the asshole for inviting my son's entire class except for one child because of his autism? <laughs> wow. I mean, clearly, though, from the title. <laughs> and you can also see this. 
I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> no, but I think if you invite the whole class, that is. <laughs> you have to he leave, changed it up. You have to leave a couple right, people yeah, out. Switching. You have to leave he's a couple people out. Yeah, he said, oh, 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 that's right there? <laughs> okay. My son's 10th mm-hmm. birthday is mm-hmm. next Saturday, and me and my husband have planned a party for him. To make sure we gave everyone enough time, we got invitations ready two weeks in advance, and I had my son pass them out on Friday. We invited everyone in his class. He goes to a small private school, so there will only be 15 kids to invite, Mm. except for one child we'll call David. The school my son goes to has a program for special needs kids where they are put into a normal class once a week. David is a high-functioning autistic child who has been put in my son's class to help him socialize and to help him with other kids to learn not to discriminate against special needs people. From what I know about him and his mother, they're doing their best, and I have nothing against either of them. However, there have been incidents with David before. Last year, through friends, I had heard that David had a meltdown at another party he was invited to, and I didn't know if I believed it, but parents who were there say that it was because he wanted to open presents like the birthday boy, and when they told him no, he freaked out. There are logical problems as well. The party will be in a loud arcade, so in the Mm -hmm. end, I decided not to invite David. Well, after my son passed the invitations, word spread around that we had excluded the special needs child in his class. This got back to David's mother, who called me last night and confronted me about this. She told me that I am awful for excluding her son and that I am teaching my son to discriminate. When I brought it up the logistics and the past incident, she told me that, that I am an asshole for assuming what her son can and can't do before hanging up. I woke up this morning to a passive aggressive post by her and many other parents are siding with her. I feel like autism has such a spectrum that there are like some social things that they, I, like they're okay. And like she brought up the whole like arcade and like, you know, like with people on the spectrum, I think like those type of things, like loud arcade and stuff like that, is too much for them right, sensory yeah. wise. So mm, it's like, yeah. but at the same time, it's a spectrum. So it's like, mm. who knows? Maybe he could have not have been affected by that right, as yeah. much. But I, th- I think there should have been a com- a communication between the mom and that mom because it's like, look, I don't necessarily know what he's capable of. Here's what we're doing. Is there any way we can like, at least have somebody like to oversee it right it's just so he doesn't feel excluded but then at the same time she's covering her own her own self and her her son and all that yeah because like the i mean and then too like the mom freaking out i'm it was kind of warranted because it's like having a child that you kind of have to like you know the world's going to be against them so it's like yeah she she freaked out for right reasons because it's like she's probably going to get used to it right growing up but yeah, I, I think all in all, a lot of adult communicate, a lot of adult problems just need to be solved with communication. I think that was the main thing. Preach. I agree. I think that this should have been up to his mom to figure out if he could deal with the party, uh, whether it's wearing like sensory, like the headphones or whatever. And maybe he, I don't know, maybe if his mom went, then she could have been able to help with situations like opening the presents. Like, I don't know. I think that especially because it was literally just David that wasn't invited, yeah. like Sam said, as a joke, but maybe truthfully, like maybe take some other kids off the list. Maybe yeah, invite like, ten. Like, yeah. Invite ten. You know, it's not the whole classroom. But if you're gonna invite everybody but him, you might as that well be like Hey, you know, uh David's mom, we would, you know, like to have him at the party. If you, you know, want to come and if she says no, then leave it at that. But just kind of invite him just to see, you know? Right, cause you know, I feel like I was kind of thinking of this as like, you know, normal kid birthday parties. Like, I don't think it's normal to invite the whole class. So it's just like, okay, your kid has friends in his class, whatever. And if David wasn't one of those friends then it wouldn't have really been that much right. of a problem because there's a lot of the class that probably weren't his friends that weren't invited. But yeah, it kind of solos out that mom yeah. because David was literally the only one that didn't get invited to the party. So I definitely get what you're saying. Like, I feel like if it was a, a normal party where the whole class wasn't invited, it probably would have been okay and not as serious because, you know, maybe, you know, the kid wasn't friends with David. So that's the reason or whatever. But yeah, I think a lot of pressure was put on her because David was the only one. I think the tough part too now is 
he, that kid is probably gonna have so many problems just because of his mom's decision. Mm. Like, cause then David's mom goes to Facebook and now it's got all these other parents. And so it's like, parents are gonna talk, kids are gonna listen and mm-hmm. be like, oh, I heard that you didn't let David come to the party. You're not really cool. Well, I don't know. I, it depends on how old they are, but it's yeah. like, that that just sucks because it's like, or maybe they're like high five and them like, I didn't want to invite David either. Now you're the first one to do it. Kids will do that. Yeah. No. Kids are sick, especially like upper elementary to middle school. Yes. It's a weird time. You get a lot of bullies, a lot of weird stuff going on. Cause I guess they're trying to figure out who we are for real. But Well, I think that's the problem too. I'm like, they invite everybody and then everybody comes back to school. They're like, That party was crazy. <laughs> David, you should have been there. David's the only no. one who to go. That sucks. Yeah. That's no. why I think I, I think you should be able to invite whoever you want to the party, but yeah, inviting the whole class and singling out one person, nah, yeah. that ain't cool. And even thinking about how um, she was like, I had him give everybody the invitations in person. It's like, David, he's going to go to every yeah, single David's desk looking. except for <laughs> yeah. David's. Like, Skips over David. Oh. He trips and drops it on there. He's like, nope, da- sorry. Does, that, that's, that's not, not for you, David. <laughs> like, David's like, oh, this is, that's nope. not for you. David's Dang. like, Really? Yeah, that. that or would the suck. mom's even pettier. The gives also. There's a David invitation that just is David an invitation H. to a different party or a different place. Man. So they all go to the one party and David. Wow, alone. that would be, be horrible. Yeah, that'd be sick. Or I would there boycott was... that boy the the uh, the birthday party. Yeah, I'd be like, if David can't come. I'm not going either. And then everybody like. Raise your hand if you go into this party. Nobody raise their hand. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, Sam. I'm like, I'm like, I kind of want. It's we, Chuck E. Cheese. It's Chuck E. Cheese, though. <laughs> it's hey. my dude Charles. Right. <laughs> I gotta go. Man, dang. Yeah, I think that's a. These ended up being some more tough stories than I thought. I was like, we'll have we'll have a mean episode. And then I was like, nah, let's do fun episode. And I was like, nah. Let's it twisted. It turned into yeah. a mean episode it anyway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> nah. yeah. Don't know what you think you thought. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, we got to close out the show. Oh, yeah. Brandon got Josh, a FIFA, FIFA name. Nice shirt, man. Thank you. You what? know what I mean? Nice the, freaking shirt. This the, this the pod shirt, you feel me? This the pod fit. Fresh cut. <laughs> Josh, thanks for coming to the podcast Thank with you, your Josh. nice thanks shirt on. Me. We're you. so happy you Thank came. You. You're always a joy. You're a joy. You're a joy. And you're number I'm sorry two to he... us. It goes oh. to Dia than you. Oh, I see we did number two. Hey, hey look, bro. Just earlier. <laughs> see, Dia, that's that girl, bro. She is that girl. She's her. You know? She's her. She's her. She's her. That's you're him. Right there. You're, you're him. him but, but she's her. her. Is up yeah, there. She's her. Him is like right here. Yeah. Her. Yeah. yeah. No. But you I get him. It. I get it. You. You, you him. Up him. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You hear it here first. I'm gonna, my boy I'm gonna, single, my boy single. Hey, <laughs> comment in the comments if you hey, want to talk about it. Yeah, you want to yeah, working on himself. Hey, man, nah, that's him. that. Leave me alone. That's him. Leave me alone. I should have just, I shouldn't even got a haircut. Don't even worry about yeah. that. Nah, nah, nah. I should have been ugly right now. My boy looking fresh I, right I need now. repellent. Wait, hey, give me that. Hey, give, give, that me, Carl give me the car repellent. I need Carl to repellent. spray yeah. it on yourself. Carl right, free yeah, zone. yeah. I definitely don't want no Carl's, but I need everybody else repellent, not even just Carl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's all repellent. Dang. You know? I think we're out of power. I'm, I'm not ready for the world yet. We or should. is the world not ready for me? Oh, no, I think it's, it's the you know? one for sure, I think. Either one. Well, thank you uh, for watching That's us. Your phone. What about it? It's yours. Yeah. I kept thinking it was my phone. I'm like, what? I was getting mad. I'm like, why is she sitting on my phone like this? You're like about to push gra- me over. And I'm like, I can't even grab it because he's like fully sitting on it. <laughs> You're like, that's... I, was, I don't know why I was just getting madder and madder. And I'm like, that's not my phone. It's right here. <laughs> so I'm glad. I you. look over and I just see that's that's your phone. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. But that makes sense is why <laughs> yeah. you're so aggressive. Yeah. Is because it was like, you thought it was your phone. Yeah, I thought it was my phone. And I You're like, know stop, sitting on, yeah, stop, stop sitting, sitting on it. Stop sitting on it. Yeah. Okay, well, bye, guys. Oh, Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the Cover Level Yay. Podcast. See you next week. See you.